I am enrolled in eLearn Security PTP version 5 and I struggle with note taking when I study. Do you have suggestions or advice for taking notes when studying for a certification or in general? What is your approach for studying? Thanks. When I studied a couple of months ago for the OSCP certification, um, I took notes using Cherry Tree and OneNote. So I used both. Yeah. As for Cherry Tree, uh, if you're not familiar with it or if you're not familiar with note taking, this is, uh, this is a program that's usually used in Linux. For uh, the OSCP specifically, there is this very popular template that everybody is using online and I'm going to link to it in the description. So if you use that template in Cherry Tree, um, it's going to be a lot easier for you to start taking notes as you go through the labs. Uh, and it's going to be like not only much more easier, but much more convenient and much more comprehensive. So you'll better understand the entire methodology of penetration testing, which is a plus. Um, and what I did was to actually take that template uh, and I actually modified it and adapted to my personal like methodology when I studied for the OSCP. I said that I also used OneNote. So I used OneNote uh, as a kind of a backup. So uh, this not only applies to the OSCP or to some, to some other certification, but I would like to think that this applies to life in general because when it comes to important stuff, passwords, uh, important notes, sensitive information. Uh, every, it's like it's really important to have redundancy here. So this is this is one area where you would uh, long for redundancy, meaning that it's always better to have a to have a backup plan and to have a backup of the backup plan, such as having a plan B, a plan C, or a plan D. In case something fails, you can actually fail safe. Um, so. Yeah, aside of the OSCP and certification stuff, uh, in real life and in, in my current job and uh, as a penetration tester and also uh, as a wannabe bug bounty hunter, um, aspiring bug bounty hunter, I've learned and I cannot stress this enough that note taking is really, really, really important. Uh, and it actually draws the line between um, a mediocre security researcher and a very good security researcher. So it's really important to make sure to take notes for everything that you do, not only in certifications, but also in your work, in your current job, in, in your work as uh, whatever kind of work you would have in cybersecurity. Fellas, YouTube enabled memberships for my channel, so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. Um, yeah, that's a that's a great point. You you sort of ended uh, you you ended on there with uh, in regards to actually documenting uh, whatever you're doing as a security researcher and and just generally uh, if you are a penetration tester or you know incident responder, whatever the case. Um, so I, I personally like. Um, I like switching it or dividing it into two sort of sectors. Uh, so th one of them deals with, uh, you know, with digital uh, data and content. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm doing a CTF or a box on Hack the Box, again, as you mentioned, uh, you know, Cherry Tree is pretty much the standard <laughs> for everyone now. Uh, but I also, yeah. find, I also find myself using uh, mind maps quite a lot when breaking down concepts or uh, when, when storing information in sort of in, a, in the form of a hierarchy. So, I think Cherry Tree is great for storing, uh, you know, useful tidbits and bits of information that, uh, you know, that makes sense. Uh, personally, when, uh, when, when I'm studying either for a certification or a, le let's just say for a test, I typically take notes in a, not in a notebook. So I usually have a notebook where I take all my notes. Now, th this is just a, a personal thing that I found works for me. I, I personally you like, like the it. physical experience, right? Yeah, I, I like the physical experience. And I just find that when, when I write something down, I sort of re remember it uh, better. So uh, that, that's a personal thing. Um, so in regards to, uh, you know, studying, 
uh, I usually switch uh, between uh, you know my notebook and if I have important no notes to take, I, I'll, I'll use OneNote. Uh, that's if I'm using Windows. Otherwise, I, I have a replacement. Uh, I can't actually remember. It's a it's a replacement for Linux. Uh, I'll post the the link in the description. It's it's a great replacement uh, or uh, alternative to OneNote for Linux, uh, and you can sync it with all your devices. So it's really great. Um, so I usually I usually use that. Uh, when now when it comes down to to actually taking uh, meaningful notes. I usually like or follow the Feynman uh, learning technique, which is uh, essentially it, it deals with actually writing down the concept that you're studying and, uh, you know, so sort of get, getting the overview of what you're dealing with, uh, breaking it down and then, you know, uh, sort of explaining it and seeing where uh, Feynman? The, the Feynman learning technique. It, it, it's, uh, it was a technique created by a, a physicist called uh, Richard, Richard Feynman. Feynman yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, for for anyone interested, you can just perform a quick Google search of that, and uh, they, they, they'll explain it for you. So I find that that usually works great for me in regards to finding areas where I I have uh, you know uh, gaps uh, with, with with my knowledge or understanding. Um, and yeah, uh, I think in the in the last episode you mentioned uh, a very interesting book uh, that I read uh, quite a while ago, and I've been returning to ever since. And that is Deep Work. Uh, by Cal Newport, I believe. And uh, yeah, yeah. The, the very, very in interesting and useful concepts uh, and ideas, uh, you know, explained and discussed in that book regarding, you know, focus time and having dedicated time to, to actually learning or, uh, you know, wh whether you may be doing research or whatever you're doing really uh, that involves knowledge and learning a skill. And so, you know, I would recommend having, you know, fixed schedule time every week. Uh, you know, and it's very important to schedule it before time so that you're aware of what you're going to be doing on that day. So having a fixed set of time, whether it may be a batch of hours or an entire day where you're going to have, you know, fully concentrated learning uh, or a research process. So I think that's, that, that, that's what I find useful and, and that's what works for me. So I, t I take physical notes um, and I like uh, breaking down concepts to the point where I can understand them uh, quite well or, you know, well enough. And of course, having a set periods of time where I'm really just learning something or, you know, just working on a project without any uh, interruption. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. So in terms of like actually deep work, uh, that uh, that book uh, just starts becoming popular from what I from what I'm seeing uh, uh, online, and it was written like at least four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's a really really good book. A lot of popular people, a lot of popular figures uh, start uh, start picking it up and recommending it. And it's probably because so it's it's becoming more popular because it's harder for us to actually. Uh, be able to focus efficiently because we are at all times uh, like hunted for attention by all sorts of stimuli from within our environment, from within our surrounding environment and also from uh, everywhere online where we actually spend our time. Uh, so it's really important to actually focus on only one thing at a time. And that's actually a plus for someone who can actually do it.